what we're trying to do with the addiction performance project is to be able to engage the public with a recognition at an emotional level of what it is to be addicted, the suffering for the person and the suffering that that person creates on those that he or she loves. So it's a way of creating that uh, for, a, for a short period of time to be able to immerse the person of what it must be to be addicted or to be in a family where someone is addicted. What does it feel like? I know you still love me, James, in spite of everything. Yes, as God is my judge, always and forever, Mary. And I love you, dear, in spite of everything. But I must confess, James, although I couldn't help loving you, I would never have married you if I'd known you drank so much. I remember the first night when your barroom friends had to help you up to the door of our hotel room and then knocked and ran away before I came to the door. <laughs> we were still on our honeymoon, do you remember? No, I don't remember. Oh. And it wasn't on our honeymoon. Oh. And I never in my life had to be helped to bed. I had one. Or Mr. Performance. There's still a great love, but there's this, this sort of going for the jugular and acting out because, because there was no way of treating, at least there, there wasn't uh, for this family, and very little in general, I think that there was just, no one knew what to do. So whatever the drug or the alcohol even would lead them to do, they would just act out, you know. But there was an awful lot of recrimination and, and blame. Yes, I hear you, Mama. I wish to God I didn't. It's pretty hard to take at times having a dope fiend for a mother. Here's a very dark subject. Here's a really nasty uh, case study uh, about addiction disorder. Um, now what are we going to do about it? Uh, how much has changed in the last hundred years? What have we learned scientifically that will enable and empower physicians of every rank uh, and other caregivers uh, to do right by these patients? How do we protect ourselves and our patients from the moral judgment and the stigma attached with addiction.